Are you ready to think about spring? I know it's not spring yet, but let's just dream. Today, I'm sharing nine spring trends that you won't regret in five years. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kay. This is Dress for My Day. I am a full-time blogger and YouTuber. I am married, happily married to my husband for 36 years. And my goal here every week is to show up here to encourage other women over 50, just like me, to get dressed for our day in a way that feels authentic, that feels comfortable, that feels a little stylish, so that we can engage with the world around us in an authentic way and uh, really make a contribution. So today we are going to talk about 2024 spring trends, and I'm really excited about some of these. I handpicked them. I mean, there are so many trends out there. Do you like trends? I don't know. Give me a hands up or a thumbs down or whatever if you like trends or don't. I'm assuming because you're here, you're at least interested in them. But you know, we don't need to adapt all the trends. That that would be a little, you know, not, that probably wouldn't be too smart. We'd look a little flighty, I think. But I do think it's smart to kind of know what's trending, know what's in style, and to maybe at least take on you know three or four of those things each season and you know adapt them into your outfits so that you look modern. And you know what I say, don't try to look younger, try to look modern and you'll actually end up looking more youthful, more vibrant and more appealing. So it is important to look modern and it is important to at least know what the trends are. But you know, when, when I do invest in a trend, you know, uh, if it's something that's gonna be here today, gone tomorrow, I really don't wanna spend much on it. If it's something that I feel like it's on a wave, it's riding a wave, which most trends do, they, they, they you know, the beginning of the wave is just like the fashion shows and the early adapters. Then we hit the peak of that wave and a lot of us are wearing that thing. And then it begins to ebb, but you can still wear it and enjoy it and people do and it still looks really stylish. So, and most things have a, you know, a few years at least of a cycle. So those are the ones I kind of like to participate in. Maybe they're going to be around for a little while. And I think as a YouTuber and a creator, a, a content creator, a blogger, I am kind of an early adapter. I, I like to try trends kind of early while they're still fresh and maybe a lot of people still aren't wanting to try them. So that doesn't bother me. I like to do that, but um, I still want to make sure I'm spending my money wisely. And I don't, I'm just so tired of fashion regrets, <laughs> aren't you? I am so tired of buying things and then even a few months later or a few weeks later, a few days later, regretting that purchase. And I'm also don't, don't even want to regret the next year or the next. So I have handpicked nine trends that I really think that us ladies over 50, really any age, could go with these trends, full swing, you know, really enjoy these trends and not regret having done so in five years. I think these are things that many of them could stay in your closet five years from now, or at least, at the very least, you won't look back at pictures that you took this year and, and you know, cringe at what you see. So the first trend that has been trending for a while, and honestly, it's a classic, is the trench coat. And I am so excited to wear my trench coats again this spring. I wore them a lot in the fall, and I am really excited to wear them again this spring. I love a trench coat. It is one of the best ways to elevate your outfit, make it look so classy. You can wear just jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers with a trench coat and look so on trend. So I'm really excited to do that. Now you're gonna see all kinds of trench coats available. And by the way, the photos I'm showing you today are just from retailers. They are just the, the items that are actually available. So I am numbering them so that you can you know, go by number, go down to the description box below, find that number, and there will be a link to that if it's, if it's still available. And it should be because these are probably mostly fairly new things. That said, remember a lot of brands don't have much of their spring stuff out yet. But you know, I'm going to be showing you some trench coats here that hopefully are in stock, but there are going to be more. You are going to see so many different types of trench coats. They are just so on style. 
I think it's smart really maybe to start with a classic color such as just that basic taupe, your khaki color, or a black or a navy. I mean, that's the place to start because those are gonna be the most versatile. They're gonna go with most things in your wardrobe. You are really, you just can't go wrong. And this is really the year to do it because they are still so on trend. They're at the peak of that wave and they are so on trend. So if you bought a classic trench coat in one of those three colors, I guarantee you in five years from now, you will still be wearing it. Now, that said, there are going to be trench coats in all sorts of colors too. If you already have a classic trench coat in one of those three neutrals, then this might be a good year to buy one in one of the other colors, pink, blue, yellow, you know, a plaid, whatever, have fun with it. If that's something you wanna do, if you actually get a lot of use out of your trench coats and you like doing that. I had a pink one years ago, I loved it. I think I finally passed it on this past year, but I loved it. So there's certainly no harm with having a more unique trench coat in your closet. That is just, I could just talk all day, but I won't, we better go on to the next trend. The second trend that I think you could certainly buy into and enjoy and not regret in five years is colors, just the colors of the season, the colors, the trending colors for 2024 that you love, the ones that you love to wear and that are already part of your uh, personal color palette. Now this year, as we are going through our style series, define your style and refine your wardrobe, we are gonna be talking, of course, more about color palettes, but you know I am a firm believer in having a narrowed down color palette. It just makes it so much easier to build your wardrobe, to have the things in your closet that mix and match nicely, a cohesive wardrobe that you can really enjoy. I'm not saying to limit your colors forever, but just for each season. Now, that said, what's gonna be trending this season? those shades of red. Red is still going to be in in several different shades, including kind of a soft medium toned salmon red that is really on trend. So kind of a rosy, but a little bit warm salmon red is going to be working so nicely with the vibrant reds and the more warm reds. So red is really on trend. Lavender and purple are continuing to really trend and I'm excited. I just this year drew lavender into my wardrobe and I have loved it. I get a lot of compliments on it because I'm pairing it with my gray hair. <laughs> and so that, that might be something to take into consideration. I think purple and lavender looks really nice on those of us who have maybe cool to neutral undertones and silver hair. So that might be something you might want to do. Also trending though this year are green, maybe just kind of that vibrant Kelly green and yellow and the neutrals that are really trending this year are gray we're going to continue to see some gray and navy is really taking center stage and that kind of like gives me like i don't know what to do because i had really decided i just want to lean into black and there's certainly nothing wrong with leaning into black this spring either so and you can do both you know but those are the trending colors so if you buy things you bet you're especially just your basics in those trending colors, and they are the colors you love already, then you absolutely are not gonna regret those in five years. I would encourage you, especially if there is a color that you love that is really resonating with you in the spring palette this year, the trending palette, then you might want to incorporate it in something unique like a handbag or a shoulder bag or a jacket or that trench coat or I don't know, a nice pullover cotton sweater or something, something that you can really get a lot of wear out of and enjoy that. Another great thing to do, I guess, with those colors would be a really nice scarf that you could wear with that trench coat that you could wear, you know, especially in the spring to add a little warmth to those uh, outfits as you wear them in the cool days. Uh, the print that we're going to see trending, at least I hear, I haven't seen it a whole lot yet, but I hear that we are really going to see polka dots trend. And, and it's funny because I think I just said that a few years ago. <laughs> I, in fact, I know I have a blog post right here. I'll show you of me wearing polka dots just a few years ago. And that was the big trend. So, you know, the basic prints are polka dot, plaid, stripes, and I would even include paisley. Those are like the four basic prints, right? So what's gonna happen is every year, one of those is gonna be more popular than the others. 
I still think that stripes are really on trend. I mean, we may hear that polka dots are gonna be trending, but I'm still seeing lots of stripes. So I think you cannot go wrong with any of those. If I were to say to you that flowery prints are trending, then that's something you have to kind of weigh out because in five years, I don't know about flowery prints, but polka dots, plaids, stripes, paisleys, those are always going to look very classic. But this year, supposedly, what's really going to be trending is those polka dots, but I'm kind of still banking on stripes. The next trend that I think is, it's definitely here again this spring, and you know what? You're not going to regret it. You're not going to regret it next year. You're not going to regret it two years from now or five years from now, and that is a good button-up shirt if button-up shirts are your thing. I know a lot of women just don't like them. You know what, really? I did not like them either for years. My mom used to say to me, Kay, you need to always have a good white button-up shirt in your closet. And I was just like, ugh. I, I would always like buy the obligatory white button-up shirt, put it in my closet, and never wear it. <laughs> But now I wear them. I love my button-up shirts. And now, right now, what's really trending, of course, is still kind of that oversized button-up shirt. I'm seeing them kind of rain in a little bit. But then again, I'm still seeing some big ones. And last year at this time, we were seeing a lot of them in colors and in stripes. And I expect we'll see that again this spring. I think the button-up shirt is kind of peaking at, in its popularity. And uh, we've got at least another year or two to ride that thing. Uh, and then even in five years, you're not going to regret having a nice button up shirt in your closet because it's going to be great to wear over, you know, those more slender fit jeans, over leggings. You can tuck it in and wear it with other jeans and shorts, even in skirts, you know, your denim skirt. So, so many ways to wear a button up shirt. You can wear it open over a tank top or a t-shirt. You can wear it closed and you can wear it tied. So many great things to do there. I would just suggest that you do what feels comfortable to you. If you're not a button-up shirt lady, then don't do that. There is no need to. But if you like them, go for it. And once again, I would buy some in the colors that you like, maybe some stripes. I don't know. Are there going to be polka dot ones? I don't know. Now, the next three trends, you may remember me mentioning these in the fall. And these are kind of more like broad terms. Uh, I can show you some pictures, but they're really more like broad terms. The first one that you're not going to regret is sustainability. We are really seeing a trend towards buying a more sustainable wardrobe. And what that means is uh, several things. First of all, it means purchasing your garments, your accessories, things from brands that are responsible. And I really try to promote brands that I find to be responsible. I'm sure that I link to, I share items from brands that maybe are not as responsible as others. I don't know everything about every brand, <laughs> but I do know some brands that are like, they're getting A plus marks uh, for being sustainable, for making really efforts towards sustainability. Um, that means like less use of water and, you know, good uh, pay for their employees and good uh, making sure that their factories uh, have good workplace environments and uh, also just making sure that their carbon imprint is as low as possible and just all those sorts of things. And I know one brand I really like working with that is sustainable is uh, Frank and Eileen. And then another one is Quince. Uh, also, there are just so many, there are several others, and I, I think that that's, that is very much on trend. But also what's on trend, though, is for the consumer, meanwhile, to be building a wardrobe that is sustainable, that you're not going to, it's not disposable, in other words. You're not just going to buy all new stuff this year, and the next year get rid of it all. So that is why I focused our spring trend video on things that we won't regret in five years, because I am a huge proponent of not wasting my money on a wardrobe that I'm only gonna wear one year and then next year it's gonna feel really dated and or outdated and it's going to like not give me any joy anymore. So I really encourage you this year to focus as like as part of a trend, you know, is to focus on building your wardrobe with those basics that really appeal to you, with pieces that are uh, classic to a degree at least. And 
Uh, like I said, if, you, if you're thinking, you know, print, like I love prints or something, well, okay, stick with stripes and polka dots and paisleys and plaids and you'll be doing great, okay? Uh, if you want to think, you know, colors, which colors are going to continue to be in? Well, we know those neutrals are always going to be in. You'll never go wrong buying black and navy and camel and brown and, uh, you know, white and beige. Those, those will always be around and we'll always be wearing them. So lean into the things that you know you can continue to wear year after year. The next spring trend is just like really continuation of 2023, but this 2024 trend is elevated basics. And that just kind of goes hand in hand with sustainability because once again, what we're saying is in outfits, what's really going to shine is to build an outfit around your elevated basics. So things like for the spring, that would be things like a great pair of jeans, a great button up shirt, some great loafers, and that great trench coat. Those are all basics but wear them, you know, some an elevated, like maybe don't have your jeans distressed at all. Maybe a nice dark wash jean, a nice straight leg jean. So it's, it's, one, it's a, a silhouette that you can wear year after year after year. So that's that sustainability. A nice white button up shirt in a good quality fabric made by a brand that is sustainable and that has good practices. A good, nice classic le uh, leather loafer that is not going anywhere. We're going to be wearing them year after year in that trench coat. So that would be that sustainable outfit that also be those elevated basics and each of those pieces are trending. So putting those things together, wearing them that way so that those elevated basics shine and letting it be like letting that outfit breathe, not adding a lot of flourishes or frills to it, not adding a scarf, not adding a lot of jewelry, you know, not adding a lot of color, just letting that outfit breathe. That is so on trend and you certainly are not going to regret that in five years. When you look back at a picture of yourself in that, in fact, you're going to feel like that looks so classic. Now, this is a trend that has actually been trending for a while, and I haven't mentioned it, I don't think, but um, this is one that you definitely are not gonna regret in five years, but I'm not sure all of us can participate, okay? Just to be honest, I'm not sure I will, or if I do, it may be like one thing, and that is fine jewelry. There is really a trend right now for, um, for us to kind of not buy as much costume jewelry, or even fashion jewelry and really lean into buying, curating a just, even if it's a small collection of fine jewelry and then just wearing that and being happy with it and letting that be it. Like, you know, once again, letting your outfit breathe, you're just wearing that one little diamond necklace uh, or that pair of diamond earring studs and just letting that be it because that obviously looks so classy. It's, it also lends into the trend of quiet elegance, which is continuing to trend from 2023, that quiet elegance, and um, you know, which is kind of that, you know, pardon the expression, but that old money look, that uh, not flashy, not nothing flashy about it, but just that understated beauty and elegance. And so, I don't know. I'm just letting you know that that's a trend is to kind of go back to uh, building a collection, even if it's small, of fine jewelry. Now, if you have a collection of fine jewelry, wear it. You know, if you have some pieces that are fine, uh, that are really, you know, those gemstones that are, are, you know, 14 karat gold, sterling silver, I don't know if that really qualifies or not, but, you know, precious metals, precious stones, Go ahead and wear those, incorporate those even into your everyday outfits. You're just not going to regret it. It goes to that saying too, if don't save your best things for some you know, special day, go ahead and wear them now. That's what they're for. Don't let things just sit in some jewelry box on your dresser or in your dresser. Get them out and wear them. Another trend that we've seen for the last year, I guess, or two maybe, um, and we're going to continue to see in 2024, are matching suits. So, you know, for the longest time, I guess when I first started blogging at least in 2018, it really seemed more on trend to wear a blazer, yeah, but then wear a different color or different, you know, not a print, not, you know, not the matching 
uh, bottom, whether it's a skirt or pants. But in the last year or two, it has become very on trend to wear a matching suit. So a matching blazer and pants or blazer and dress, I mean, a, well, blazer and dress or blazer and skirt. So uh, even, of course, a matching blazer and shorts are very on trend right now too. So those matching pieces, and we've even seen matching sets of athleisure wear, right? And ma matching pieces of like travel, you know, outfits and stuff. So I think we're gonna continue to see those this spring. And I think jump in there, enjoy that. It's really a fun trend because the reason you're not going to regret it in five years is if you buy it smartly, if you, if you really think about it, calculate, buy something that works for your wardrobe, that works for your personal style, that you know maybe is a little classic or whatever, then you're actually going to have three things going. You're gonna have that, that matching set, and then you've got the top and you can wear with other things and you've got the bottom piece that you can wear with other things. So it gets a lot of versatility, a lot of play in your wardrobe and you certainly won't regret that. I'm not saying we need to buy a dozen matching sets, but if you have been thinking about this trend, now is the time to jump in there and maybe buy a matching set or two. And then the last trend is one just um, as I'm recording this, the Golden Globe Awards were I think yesterday and I saw a little article on my phone with um, all the different dresses everybody wore. Oh my goodness, I felt like we were back in the 1940s. <laughs> the dresses were, you know, for years, the dresses have either been scanty and ridiculous and appalling or they've been uh, ugly. <laughs> Or, or they've just been like really out there and wild. But this year, it is like this glamorous, you know, back to Hollywood glamour. But what I'm gonna call this trend is retro feminine uh, because we're gonna dial it down to where we live every day. None of us are walking around in the gowns that you would wear to the Golden Globes, of course. So how do you, you know, translate that to every day? I think as we have seen these beautiful dresses at the Golden Globe Awards, we are going to also see more options for really feminine dressing, whether that be in a dress that you get for a wedding this spring or summer, or maybe even it's just something for work wear. I think it's gonna to continue to look really feminine pieces that you would wear to church or even things that you would wear for casual wear. It is going to be so on trend, yay, to look really feminine and a little glamorous. So take advantage of that. I mean, oh my word, how many, I don't cannot remember the last time when it was so on trend, so popular to look a little glamorous, a, to be very feminine, to just look really womanly, uh, wear some sparkles and some shines, but also you just see these dresses, the silhouette is just very feminine. Yay for that. So I'm loving that and I cannot imagine that if you bought a beautiful feminine looking dress, uh, maybe especially don't, don't go florals necessarily, think solids, I think, and pretty collars, pretty silhouettes, I think is really where it's at, more than the frills and the ruffles. We've done that in years past. This year, I'd say it's more about the silhouette of the dress being really feminine. I think you just will not go wrong with a pretty um, fit and flare dress or uh, something that just really hugs the body a little bit, but without, it's not necessarily sexy, it's more just very feminine. So I'm all in for that, I hope you are too. Those are the trends for 2024 spring that I think you could just jump in and not regret in five years. I hope you enjoyed this rundown of our spring trends. Let me know below in the comments which of those ones that really resonate with you. I'd love to hear about that and maybe in the future I'll do a video featuring one or two of the trends that you ladies vote for. So I would love to hear about that. Thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this and had a good time, because I sure did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog and follow me on the LTK shop. There's a link below. I'd love for you to do that. I always link to everything that I show there. Have a great day.